Hello world, welcome to the 105th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is going to be the start of an Amazon price analysis playlist that I'm doing for my youngest son. So he's been interested in Pokemon cards, and then he loses interest, and now he's getting interest again. And um, so I want to automate getting and tracking the prices of Pokemon cards on Amazon. So I was inspired by this video from a YouTuber named Lucid Programming on how he automated um, his budget by going getting the prices of his normal routine shopping items from Amazon and uh, knowing when there's discounts and stuff. So I'll leave a link in the description um, to his video so you can watch that. And like him, I would also like to use Google Sheets to store and access the data that we'll be collecting from Amazon. And so uh, Google Sheets is what we'll do in setting up and accessing Google Sheets is what we'll do in this video. So I've only talked about Google Sheets once. I really like Google Sheets, um, but I only talked about it once so far on my channel where I compared the Alpha Vantage API for stock prices to the Google Sheets functions called Google Finance. And I did a compare and contrast. Uh, you can watch that video here by clicking the card above. So let's check this out. So we have this Google Sheets here called Pokemon, right? And we have some random data in it called, I don't know, just random. So please subscribe to my channel. That's a pretty good recommendation, I think. Okay, so let's close out of all of that. And now we have this quick Python code and let's run that real quick. All right, so it was able to access it. And here you go, the please subscribe to my channel in a list. So that seems like a small amount of Google code, but, uh, or I'm sorry, Python code, but you actually have to do quite a bit to set this up. So uh, let's check out how to set that up now. So what we'll do is that, uh, so I'm going to close my face, so goodbye. And uh, first you need to uh, go to your Google Drive. And then do a new Google Sheets and name it something, okay? So name it whatever you want. Um, I do not want to use this, so we will not be doing that. But I called mine Pokemon, and I put some data in there. So next, so I recommend Googling the Google API console. And I'll leave a link to all of these, uh, all of these, Links right here, I will leave it in the uh, description below. All right, so you should come here. You may have to sign in. Okay, so you're going to select a project. I've already created one called Amazon, which I've already used to show you that. And go to New Project. And let's do my project name is uh, YouTube. Yeah, let's just call it YouTube because I'm going to delete this as soon as we're done. Okay, so uh, there's no, you don't have to put it anywhere, so just create. All right, and uh, so it's creating the project now. There you go. So you can view it like that, or you can go back to the dashboard and uh, click on your new code right there. Okay, so let's go back one. So now that you have YouTube up here, you can go to library. All right, so now we're in the welcome to the API library. So you can go to Google Drive API.
All right, so the Google Drive API, so enable. All right, so now you have this enabled. We're still on our YouTube. And then you create credentials. Okay, find out what kind of credentials do you need. So we're going to do the Google Drive API. Where will you be calling the API from? So um, we're just going to do, uh, I think it's a web server. And we're going to access the application data. All right, so we will not be running a GCE or GAE, so no, I'm not using them. Okay, and then it says create a service account, so let's call that YouTube again. Select a role, you want project editor. And then the key type you want as JSON, so press continue. Okay, so it says a service account and key has created. So if your computer is like mine, it goes straight to download. And so uh, I recommend calling it something. I had to call mine Drive Credentials. So I just called it Drive um, Credentials. And the reason why I didn't call it just Credentials is because I use the Gmail API, which uses credentials also. And then you're going to cut, I, I press control X, but you can also cut here. And then you go into the root folder of your project. Okay, you can find that by going here and finding the root of your project. So mine is users, notebook, PyCharm, project Jarvis. Yes, I know it's Shane, I just haven't renamed it yet. So I have this, uh, Shortcut here, Users, Notebook, PyCharm Projects, Jarvis. And uh, you just copy it and paste it here. I've already done that. See, I have the drive credentials here. Okay, so you copy and paste it in there. All right. Now, once you've done that, you go back to Library. And you're going to go here to Google Sheets API. So click that and then just press enable. All right, so now you have it. You don't have to do anything else. So our credentials that we just downloaded, which I did not copy and paste over. Um, so let's go back to download so I can show you something real quick. So let's call this uh, YouTube credentials. YouTube credentials. Okay, then we're going to put it, even though I'm not going to use it, I'm going to delete this once this, uh, we're going to put it in our root folder so PyCharm can see it. Okay, then we're going to scroll down to uh, the YouTube credentials. And there you go. So this gives you a uh, client email that we're going to need in a second. Okay, so mine's going to look different, but you need to copy and paste this right here for your application. Whatever you named it, you need this email right here. Okay, so now let's go back to our Google Drive and uh, And let's go back to our Pokemon or whatever you named your Excel sheet. Then we're going to share. And then we're going to put this. So, oops. Then you copy and paste that email here into this Add People and Group. Make sure that you click on the thing below it so it shows up here. Okay? And give that access to editor. So if I copied and pasted the credentials you just saw, 
So let's check that out one more time. I would copy and paste this here and then click on it. Click editor and then press send. So I don't want to do that right now because I already have my Amazon in there. Okay, so now you can exit out of everything. And now you can set up a, a new file. I called mine Amazon. And before we start, you'll need to pip install gspread and o authorization to client. So o auth to client. Then you're going to import gspread, import o auth to client dot service underscore account, or from o auth to client dot service underscore account. Import service account credentials with the capital S A C. Then you're going to put the scope equals and you're going to make this list so go ahead and pause it or whatever to type that in but what you're doing is you are adding your credentials to both of these so you want access to the drive and you want access to the spreadsheets then you're going to create a, cre cre a variable you can call it whatever you want but creds equals service account credentials dot from json key file name Make sure you pick the right one from underscore JSON underscore key file underscore name. Then you're going to pass it whatever you called your credentials. So I called mine drive credentials dot JSON. You're going to pass that in a string and it's going to look in your root folder. So if you're using PyCharm, it should be in your root folder. And then comma pass it the scope. The scope is here. You're pa basically passing the credentials to these two URLs. Then we're going to create a client equals gspread dot authorize and we're going to pass it these credentials that we just started. Then the worksheet we'll be using equals client which we started here dot open Pokemon which is what I called mine dot sheet one. I only have one sheet so dot sheet one is fine using that. Then I want to get the values and the values equals worksheet dot get all values that's get underscore all underscore values. And then we're going to print values. And when we do that, it gives it here. So what we'll be doing is we're going to be using Selenium, which I've done in uh, a lot of videos, to access Amazon, get information on Pokemon cards, store it in it, and then I'm not sure where we're going to go from there. But the key is to access Google Drives and use it so me and my son can both view it whenever we want. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know this isn't really part of Shane, my digital assistant, but I think having the ability to uh, pull prices from Amazon on things that I want sounds like a pretty good quality that I'll probably want in the future with Shane. So um, please like this video, and I hope you enjoyed this playlist as well that I'll be doing. Um, yep, so thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.